Hey everybody and welcome to the channel Innocent here and in this video I'm going to share my strategy of how I was able to sell about $2,000 worth of flyers and YouTube banners on Instagram and how you can also make money as a designer. Now the whole idea of this video is not a get rich quick scheme. This process takes time. So if you are looking for something that will make you money like within the next few days, this is not for you. This is a whole step by step guide and process on how you can sell and market yourself on Instagram as a graphic designer. <laughs> For those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Innocent and on this channel we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So over my Instagram profile, I've been able to sell over $2,000 of flyers and banners and these are some of the things that I did that actually helped me to do that. Before I dive into the tips, the first thing you need to understand is that you need a skill set to do this. This strategy may not actually work for you if you are a beginner graphic designer because you don't have the skill set to do this. So what you really need to do first is to dedicate yourself to learn the skill before you can jump into all the tips that I'm about giving. And over here on this channel, I have a lot of tutorials on how to design flyers, invitation cards, banners, and so on. So you can start by watching these tutorials prepare yourself for the journey and then you can go ahead and dive into the tips on how to make money with your skill set. Now the first tip that we're going to talk about is writing a concise bio. The first thing that people come across on your Instagram feed is your bio. Your bio is what tells people who you are even before they start to scroll through your feed. So taking the time to actually present a concise bio gives the people the impression of who you are and what you do. One thing you don't want to be is a jack of all trades. So specializing or writing exactly what you do in your bio makes it easier for people to know who you are. So I would recommend that you take the time to write a very nice and concise bio that describes exactly what you do on your platform. This way, people coming to your profile for the first time will know exactly what to do and can come straight into your DM to talk things out with you. The next point is your feed is your portfolio. Treat it as such. You may not have a website, a YouTube account like myself or anything that actually drives traffic for you, but your Instagram account can serve as a portfolio for you if you present it the right way. After people find out your account, they may have to go through your feed to find samples of your work in order to convince them to talk to you. And so you have to be very mindful of the things that you post on your feed. Posting the right content and the best of your works on your feed is a high way of converting followers into clients because your profile tells them who you are and what you do but your feed convinces them of exactly what you do. For instance, if you design a very bougie flyer and then you post it on your feed, people might find this flyer and they may follow it to your profile and eventually turn into clients. So be very mindful of the things that you post on your feed as it goes a long way into converting followers into clients. This is why Instagram has given you options on the type of reels that you can post on your feed because not all reels are supposed to be on your feed. For instance, there are some reels that you are just using to catch crews and they don't necessarily have to be on your feed, especially if your account is both a personal and a professional account. There are people that have personal accounts and they have business accounts, that is fine. But if your account is like mine, which is personal, both personal and professional, you may have to be very mindful of what you post on your feed. Another thing you need to consider on your feed is posting something that you mostly do. The attention span of people are very limited these days in the days of TikTok and Instagram reviews. So you don't want people to scroll about 15 times before they actually find what you do. So posting repeatedly the things that you normally do is a way of convincing people that you are a master at what you do. And this is an easy way of converting people or followers into clients. The next thing is create content around your targeted audience. When I started selling YouTube banners on Instagram, I had absolutely no one, I mean, no one knew me. 
but then i started creating content around youtubers and content that youtubers can resonate so i started a series that is called the dear youtuber in this way i found a way to interact with other youtubers or potential youtubers or new youtubers that i could easily propose the idea of getting a new youtube banner for them so if your content is around flyer design church flyer design you may want to create content that your targeted audience can resonate i remember creating a youtube banner for miss trudy and i used it as a tutorial on youtube and people came from youtube to my instagram to order for youtube banners simply because they found that video so on other platforms of yours you may want to create content that can easily link others back to you on other platforms like instagram this way they can easily be convinced and they can easily turn into clients next up use captions and hashtags i see a lot of graphic designers push their very nice neatly designed works and then under the captions they write designed by say innocent for instance and then they put their numbers over there believe me you nobody is actually interested in your number or your gmail or whatever that you put in your description but writing a captivating caption is an easy way for people to engage on your post and in that way you can engage with them so the next time you post that beautiful church flyer design that you wrote instead of writing designed by me dm let's work together you can actually find a very captivating way around the flyer that you design for instance if it is about christmas if it is about easter you can write something nice about the easter celebration and in this way you're not only presenting the design or the flyer to the people you are presenting a very nice beautiful story behind what you designed it may surprise you to know that people actually buy emotions so the emotions or the story behind whatever that you design is a sure way of converting your followers to clients also research your hashtags use related hashtags and then use call to actions there are about 2 million active users on instagram every single day and the probability of them seeing your flyer or your design is very unlikely and that is why using a hashtag is one sure way to reach them out you know hashtags open an endless opportunity for people to come across your post and follow to your profile and probably become clients so take the time to research your hashtags as there are numerous softwares and websites that you can use to do this when you create content around your targeted audience you may have them in your comment section and all that one way to get your targeted audience to comment on your flyers and your designs is using a call to action for instance have you ever made money on instagram as a graphic designer before this is a sure way to engage the targeted audience to make a comment in the comment section and that way it promotes your design it promotes your post and then it is a high way of engaging with them and turning them into client and that leads us to the next tip engage with your clients especially your targeted audience there are so many graphic designers that thinks that they are very highly skilled and because of that if they post something a flyer and people come to comment nice work this is a great job i like the colors all of those things they don't really like or even reply the comments no this is a sure way to kill yourself if you really want to turn followers into clients you need to engage with them like comment reply to comment and you can even follow back to their profile to interact with them one thing that i did was i was following back to other youtubers profile interacting with their post and then talking to them possibly in dm this is not spamming them with any long messages or trying to sell them anything this is genuine interaction and relationship with others like i said earlier people buy emotions the more you are able to engage with them and build relationship trust with them it is very easy for them to purchase from you the next tip that i want to talk about is consistency i know this may sound very cliche but it really works i don't know if you've realized but each of these platforms are rewarding consistency so if you really dedicate your time to one platform and start posting regularly you realize that your following starts growing your content starts getting engagement and all that and that is the same thing 
with Instagram. The more you are consistent on the platform, the more it is that it promotes your posts, your designs, and the likelihood that you are going to find clients. Additionally, people actually want to work with people that are current. So if the last time that you posted something on your Instagram page was 2018, it is assumed that you are not available to work and people that are actually in need of others to work on a project that is way faster for them may not really take the time to come into your dm to ask whether you are available or not but if you posted something just yesterday it is assumed that you are available to work and people may actually reach out to you so the more you are consistent and show up the likely people may reach out to you to work on their project for them this is a bonus tip that may not really contribute to people or getting clients but it's a sure way to measure your insight and all that and that is switching your account to a business account there are so many advantages to switching your account to a business account which i'll discuss in another video but one thing that really helps is measuring your insight this helps you to actually measure the number of people that are following your account, that are engaging on your account, and where they are engaging on your post from. This gives you a clue of what your followers want to see and what they would want on your page. To turn your account into a business account, you may head over to your Instagram profile on the three dots at the right top side. You may click on it, go to account, and tap on switch to professional. I'll talk further about this Instagram business account probably in another video. So these are some of the tips that helped me to sell over $2,000 worth of flyers on Instagram. And by following these steps, I'm sure you may also be able to market yourself, sell your craft and your designs on Instagram as a graphic designer. Let me know in the comment section if this video was helpful and let me know if you've ever made any sales on any platform or any social media as a graphic designer. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.